Fraction and Decimal Conversions, Part 1. Converting decimals to fractions. So to do this, you write it like you read it, using the decimal place value place as your denominator and the digits in the decimal as the numerator. For example, we have 0 0.12. Well, that's actually read as 12 hundredths, and you can refer to your place value chart at the top of your notes to remember what place value is what. This can be written as 12 over 100. We can also say 12 one hundredths. Then we put the fraction in simplest form, so we're going to simplify. Well, 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 100 divided by 2 is 50, so we have 6 over 50 or 6 fiftieths, but it can still be simplified further, so we want to get it all the way there. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 50 divided by 2 is 25, so we have 3 over 25, or 3 25ths, and that cannot be simplified any further, so it's in its simplest form, and we're done with that one. So let's give these a try. Our first problem is 0 0.25. Well, we want to know what place value the 5 is in, and so if we look at our place value chart that's highlighted in the, in the yellow box, I see that this is actually 25 hundredths. So we can write that as 25 over 100. Now, while it is a fraction, we are not done because we always want to make sure that we put the fraction in its simplest form. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify this fraction, and I notice that um, 25 can be divided by 25, and so can 100. So I'm going to do 25 divided by 25 on the top, and 100 divided by 25 on the bottom, and I'll get 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. So that's what we'll put in our answer blank, 1 fourth. Now we have this number where there is a number to the left of the decimal, which is a whole. So we say 2 and 6, whatever place value it's in, and that's in the tenths place value. So this is 2 and 6 tenths. So I'm going to write 2 as my whole number, and then 6 over 10 as my fraction like this. So 6 over 10 can be simplified. What can go evenly into both 6 and 10? If you said 2, that's correct. So I'm going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and I will still have 2 as my whole number. In fact, we could go ahead and just write that first up there because we know it's going to be there. So we have 2 and 6 tenths. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then I can't simplify that any further, so our answer here is 2 and 3 fifths. For this problem, I'm going to ask you to try it on your own and then uh, check it with me in the video. So pause your video, try to do this one on your own, and then press play to check. The answer to this problem is 67 two hundredths, or 67 over 200. If you're not sure how I got there, check my work and check your work. If you still can't find your mistake, we'll discuss it in class. For problem number four, I want you to do this one completely on your own, and we're not going to check it in the video. You're going to check it with your group when we return to class. So pause the video to do this one, and when you're done, press play to continue the video. Actually, we're going to stop this video right here, and the next video is going to have to do with converting fractions to decimals. So once you do this problem, then move on to the next video.